bringing the people behind our food to life. We've been doing a lot of talking about carrots, haven't we? What color is this carrot? Yellow. Yellow. Ooh. White. White. Orange. Orange. Harvest for Healthy Kids got started about three years ago when uh, Mount Hood Community College Head Start reached out to me. They were just interested in bringing a wider variety of fruits and vegetables into their food service program and also um, bringing locally grown foods into their classroom education. We're currently in our second year of the program and last year was really a year spent planning the logistics. Previously, fruits and vegetables were certainly served, but there wasn't a specific focus on locally grown fruits and vegetables. Every month there is one fruit or vegetable that's featured throughout the month and served twice a week during lunchtime. So for this month, for October, carrots are the featured food, um, and other featured foods include winter squashes, cabbage, sweet potatoes, winter root vegetables, which include rutabaga, parsnips and turnips, asparagus, berries, and beets. No, just the orange carrots. Would you like to try? Go ahead and take one little, um, yep, take some like that. Studies have shown that eight to 10 exposures is needed to change a child's preference for a new food. It really depends on how it tastes, how it's presented, the social context. You know, what's nice about having this type of a program in a setting such as Head Start is that the children are um, watching other children enjoying a new food. The, the children are watching the teacher enjoying a new food. They're being rewarded for trying something new and different. What does it taste like? Does it taste like an orange carrot? Does it taste like a... It's like an orange carrot. I want more! There's going to be some children who it will have 20 exposures and still aren't willing to even try a new fruit or vegetable. This is called Oliver's Vegetables. In addition to eating the foods during meals, the children are engaged in various activities um, that focus on the featured food. The children are cooking with carrots. They are doing carrot art activities. They're reading books about carrots and gardening. The featured food is really being integrated into the rhythm of the Head Start Day. One of the challenges has been trying to find local growers who can supply the amount of the featured food needed to serve all of the children in the program. The Mount Hood Community College Head Start program serves almost a thousand children. This is a program that was developed with teachers. What makes it different from many other nutrition education programs is that it addresses childhood obesity by encouraging better eating habits. It contributes to a vibrant and resilient local food system, which is very important given that our current industrialized food system is not very sustainable. I find that there's never enough fruits and vegetables to go around. When given the opportunity, children will eat fruits and vegetables. As long as children are exposed to um, highly processed, high sugar, high fat foods, given only limited opportunities to try a new fruit, fruit or vegetable, um, you know, that, that's, that's the palate that they'll develop. And um, children's food preferences are strongly influenced by their early food experiences. And as children get older, it becomes harder and harder to change some of those food habits. So with farm to school and farm to childcare or farm to preschool, um, the hope is that by intervening early, we'll be able to help children develop preferences for foods that promote their health. Thank you. Bye, Evis. Oh, look at that guy. These are called Shin Kuroda, and it's a Japanese variety that we found just do really, really well here this time of year. They have a really great sweet flavor and very nice crunchy texture.